cafe you are about to see has not happened yet. These are scenes from that story. A story that will happen as soon as these men are ready. This is a countdown. A missile is about to be launched. It will be the XMP-13. XMP meaning experimental moon probe. A missile that will carry free human beings into outer space. Pete. Well, you'll, till I get back home. He said he'd be back in two days. And he will be. Day, 3.15 p.m. Pro Hour. A carefully selected group of top flight newspaper people have been assembled from all parts of the nation. Thoroughly briefed on every detail of the flight, they will be centered in a special room adjacent to the blockhouse to witness the story they are about to write. Well, that's the one, gentlemen. Now, the next time you see it will be on the screen in the control building. And it will be headed for the moon. Shall we join the other newspaper people? This way. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the control center is next door. Now, you'll be able to see the entire operation from this screen. Now, one final reminder. This is not a secret effort, but no releases except as scheduled. There are hotlines to all the wire services, New York, Los Angeles, Paris, Tokyo, Rome, everything you need. Well, Colonel, what we need is to see Macaulay. Well, we've also allowed a few minutes for that, but we're on a tight countdown. From 1.30 to 2.30 is navigation check, 2.30 to 3, physical, and 3 to 3.30 is control center. In about 30 seconds, he should be here. Mrs. Macaulay. Hi, Pete. Hi. Hello, Mary. Hello, Paul. Uh, the press, this is Mrs. McCauley. This is Pete, the Colonel's son. Mary, I have some chairs for you right here. Mrs. McCauley, may I ask you one question? But I'll answer it. As as long as I've known my husband, he's, he's been reaching for the sky. And I like to think that this flight means going just a little higher. Three thirty on the nose. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Major Joe Hale Communications. Uh, Major Hale went to 100,000 miles last June in the XMP-10 with Major Billy Williams, who will be the navigational officer on this probe. And, of course, the ship's commander, Colonel Edward McCauley. Ladies and gentlemen, be seated, please. Now, if you'll make them easy to answer, we'll, uh, we'll try and handle a few questions. How long will you be gone, Colonel? Day out and a day back, give or take a couple of hours. At what speed, sir? Top speed, 25,000 miles per hour. Will you attempt a landing on the moon? No. No, we don't have the know-how. Yes. Colonel, are you scared? No comment. Well, then why? There's a mountain somebody has to climb it. The mountains on the moon just happen to be a few hundred thousand miles higher. Let's call it a way of life. Going to the moon. A way of life? Well, let's say science is a way of life. Countdown. Moon probe XMP-13 at the signal, minus one hour, 15 minutes. Uh, well, gentlemen, I guess that's it. Pete, wear the eagle till I get back. Minus 
8 minutes, 55 seconds. Many years of research, the careful planning of our best scientists went into making this flight possible. A journey into the unknown. Thank you. 
Kenya operator. Has French loss occurred? has occurred successfully. The first stage booster has burned out and dropped off. If everything goes well in about a minute, the second stage booster will burn out and drop off. Let's help him. has been reached 25,600 miles per hour. They're beyond the pull of the Earth's gravity. Has Kenya operator. Has second branch lift occurred? Has Kenya operator, I've asked you. Has second branch lift occurred? We have not observed second branch lift. Control to XMP. XMP to control. Tracking data indicates you are seven degrees off planned trajectory. You will need your third stage rockets to correct. We have no third stage power. Stand by. that you have not, repeat not, dropped your second stage booster. This is the way the rocket looked after the first branch loss. This is the way it should look after the second stage rocket had burned out and dropped off. The crew would then be in a position to obtain power and steerage by firing the third stage. Now without that power, they cannot correct their course. XMP to control. Igniter function. Negative here. Negative here. Propellant pressure. Negative. Negative here. Propellant temperature. Normal. Normal here. Booster mechanism. Negative here. Negative here. Detonator. Negative here. Negative here. Drill. Electrical circuit break positive. Electrical circuit break positive. Positive here. aware of the fact that at an altitude of 25,000 miles, free from the Earth's gravitational pull, he is in free fall, moved with the greatest caution. The slightest push could send him off in the opposite direction. Control to XMP. You are drifting at 25,600 miles an hour, seven degrees off planned trajectory. What does he mean, drifting? You know what infinity means. Well, that's exactly what he means. They can't stop themselves. He said he'd be back in two days. He will be. Destination infinity. Was that to be the fate of the XMP-13? Speed 25,600 miles per hour. No power, no way to alter its course. Magnetic shoes will counteract weightlessness. 
But what repairs will counteract the malfunction? Well, what do you think, Mac? Well, the second stage booster's only partially sheared off. It's hanging on our tail. We use some badly damaged circuits. What's the answer? I go outside with a torch, cut loose the booster, and you fix the circuit. Advise control. XMP-13 to control. I'll give you a hand with your space. Colonel McCauley will attempt to shear off the second booster from the outside of the ship. Is there no alternative? No, sir. Well, I don't expect to hang on to it. That thing's going better than 25,000 miles an hour. Well, so is McCauley. I don't understand. Well, not only has the rocket reached escape velocity, but so has Colonel McCauley, either inside or outside that nose cone. Now, as far as we know, there is nothing out there to knock him off that ship. No wind, no air pressure. He's in a vacuum. side all okay. I'll check the others. Releases on underside all okay. Number three is the only one locked. I'm going to burn through. Estimate time for completion of repairs. Mac, Control wants to know how long it'll take you. Almost through it now. Joe? Joe, can you hear me? Go ahead, Mac. Joe, what time is it? To the second. 5.44, 50 seconds. The release bar sprung open. Knocked me off the ship ten seconds ago. The torch burned through my lifeline. I'll come out. I'll get a lifeline to you. I'm too far. I'll transmit my name every 30 seconds. Notify control to track me. The booster's cut away. Tell the colonel we'll mini-track him with every radio scope available. Tell him to keep transmitting. We're calling. Transmit data to all mini-track stations in free world. No. Request it worldwide. All stations to track him and report back here. We must not lose him. McCauley. Oregon Region Mini Track 1 reporting. McCauley estimated right ascension 60.15.10. McCauley. More amplification. It's already at maximum. His radio range is limited. McCauley's transmissions are fading. If we can pinpoint the ship from this distance, Macaulay. why not Macaulay? His portable equipment was designed as an intercom. It's never intended for a range like this. Estimate Macaulay at eight miles from ship on 22 degrees, 10 minutes. Macaulay. Florida Canaveral, Able One, Mini Track reporting. Macaulay five miles from XMP at 22 degrees, 10 minutes from planned trajectory. At the present rate of decrease in McCauley's signal strength, we here in London shall be able to track him for no more than one half hour. McCauley. Colonel, suppose the signal fades completely. We'd lose him. How far will he go? Well, there's no friction out there to stop him. It's a hundred million miles to the inner planets, a thousand million miles to the outer ones, and billions of miles beyond. He'd just keep going. Macaulay no suite ichi wa niju ni no jippun no ichi no fune yori. I've been thought that Macaulay 
sarebbe destra 20 miglia, 30 minuti con 50 tram. Ici Radio Diffusion Française, nous apprenons que la position du colonel McCauley, approximativement 35 minutes 10 secondes de sa fusée. Il m'a beaucoup d'honneur vous dire que l'américain ingénieur McCauley et son ami sont très bien. Ami, il m'a beaucoup d'honneur vous dire. McCauley, a man lost in space, helpless, repeating his name, getting no answer not even knowing if he's being heard. What goes on in the mind of such a man? How long will it be? Is it a matter of hours, miles, or is it an eternity? Panel checks out okay. XMP-13 to control it. Repairs affected. Request instructions. 80 pounds thrust. 200 degrees, five seconds on signal. This will take you to Macaulay's last known position. 200 degrees, five seconds. Still on course? Still on course. So is Pete. Do you know he wouldn't give me back my eagle? <laughs> Listen, they're going to want to see you in operations in a few minutes to evaluate the data you collected, mm -hmm. you know. But I can sum it all up for you. Missiles can be repaired in flight. Now, you proved that beyond any doubt. Something else was proved, too. Let's not forget it. For one half hour, the entire world made one human life more important than anything else. 